A Delaware County community is in mourning after a second grader dies from complications from the flu. And now area school districts are trying to control the virus before it spreads even further. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is in Broomall with our coverage. Howard. Yuki, that boy was just seven years old. He passed away on Sunday, and now his school districts and others, they are now making sure that they don't have to go through this again. I think like, oh, it's not going to happen around here. You always think it's like somewhere far away or something like that. But unfortunately, it's right in our own backyard. Anything scary like this can happen. <laughs> Fear taken over the Broomall community after seven year old Matthew Rosorek dies from complications from the flu. Kids are big kids, you know, so um, yeah, it is always very scary. You, you want the best. Matthew died on Sunday. His mother, Rebecca Horowitz Rosorek, posted on Facebook. He was the kindest child and can brighten any room. We are grieving and trying to process it all, but can't understand how this could happen. I couldn't imagine what the family is going through. I couldn't imagine what the school is going through. I mean, it's tough enough to explain to kids that somebody died, let alone died in such a scary and common way. <laughs> After Matthew's death, the district said all schools were disinfected. The district also provided grief counselors. Prior to Matthew's death, there were no reported juvenile deaths attributed to the flu in Pennsylvania. Elsewhere in Delaware County, the Garnet Valley School District issued an advisory to parents after Matthew's death. To be proactive and you know, allay any fears. Dr. Mark Petrando is the superintendent of the district. He says school nurses have seen an increase in absences. He says they are now making disinfecting desks and other services a top priority. Petrando says in a district with 4,800 students, keeping them healthy is a tough job. We have little children um, who are in, for the most part, contained classrooms with sniffles and other things. And uh, like all young kids, they touch everything. So it's really difficult. Now, it's not clear if Matthew had the flu shot. His teacher is also out of school for this week because she also came down with the flu. Now, public funeral services, they were scheduled for today. However, they were postponed in hopes of not spreading the virus any further. Live in Delaware County, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard, thank you.